have there, guys. I thought I will do a little vlog from here in Klepera. I'm back home from Sardinia, so I'm gonna chat about that. I just got my nails done and I went to to buy some hair products. But I really wanna get some iced coffee because it's really hot today. I'm just having some peach fuse tea. It's one of my favorite summer drinks. I love it, but I need some icy coffee. Today I'm all in my Zaful gear. I'm wearing these new Zaful um, sunnies. Absolutely love them. I was in such a rush in the morning. I didn't even do my makeup properly. I'm also wearing my Zaful dress, which is so pretty, but I'm gonna show it to you properly uh, in my studio in a full length mirror. So I got a small ice latte and I added some cinnamon in it. Should be good. So refreshing. Actually it's already past lunchtime and I didn't have... It's 15 past 3. And I didn't have anything for lunch but they have a new food delivery service here in Klepera called Walt. And I really want to try it and order some food to my studio. So I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try their service. What do I do with my fused tea now? I didn't finish it. I have nowhere to put it. I don't have two cup holders. Okay. Let's just hope I will not have to use my brakes suddenly. Look at my nails in the sunshine, guys. I'm in love. They look so pretty. It's a pale pink color called Velvet Agate and it has this shimmer to it, like tiny micro shimmering particles and yeah, I just think it's gorgeous and I love this almond shape as well. I always ask for an almond shape. It's like this milky pink with shimmer. Obsessed. Thank you so much, Victoria. I'm gonna leave her... Um, Instagram contacts down below in the info bar as always okay guys so here is my full outfit of the day so as I said the dress is from Zaful I have no bra under um, if you do have a bra I would recommend wearing something one of those deep plunge bras that start here that allow a lot of cleavage because it is quite a deep cut and I even use a security pin to pin it down because otherwise everything will flop around. Um, so yeah, I absolutely adore this dress, especially the color. It's hard to describe, it's this kind of rosy mocha color, rosy brown. So so pretty. Um, my shoes are my mango sandals with a block heel from last year, I want to say. I really like them. Um, they don't cut your legs off because they're in this nude color. And oh, my sunnies, as I said, Zaful, absolutely adore them. Anya High um, necklaces, I don't take them off. I wore them throughout my trip to Sardinia, even to the beach. Never ever took them off and I shower with them, which you probably shouldn't. They might tarnish, but nothing has happened to them. Fortunately, <laughs> so yeah, I sleep with them never take them off. Absolutely love them So yeah, these two the choker and the coin necklace and then this is solid gold necklace the skinny one which was a gift from my boyfriend also never take it off and My new bag. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this bag? This is one of the most beautiful bags I own and I do love my Chloe bags, but this I am so in love. Honestly, when I opened the box, oh, I gasped. I, I didn't know how much I needed a white bag until I got a white bag. It's so perfect for summer. White is probably my favorite color and it's just, I know it's gonna go with everything and I know I'm, I'm not gonna stop wearing it or carrying it. It's so beautiful and I actually love it even more than my, um, Sylvie bag. You guys know the one I'm talking about, the beige croc one. 
uh, top handle bag that you can wear as a backpack. It's called Sylvie and this model is called Saya. And I think this one, as much as I love the other one because you can just throw it on your shoulder as a backpack, I just think this one is even more comfortable because you can get into it really easily. The other one, a Sylvie, is quite narrow, deep and tight. So it's a bit of a struggle to get something from like the bottom of your bag. This one, it's, um, you know, it's quite short. So you can reach everything really easily. It's a, This is my perfect everyday handbag size. It just fits everything I need. It's so luxurious, so beautifully made. It is a leather handbag and it's embossed in this croc print. And it's currently on sale, so please go and grab this bag before it sells out because it's, it's so classic, it's timeless. It's probably never gonna go out of style and it's even gonna get better with um, time and wear. I just love it so much and they have it in every single color that you can possibly want. And I think it's very versatile as well because you can wear it cross body like I just wore or you can wear it on your shoulder like this which is very pretty as well. Or you can remove the strap because it's detachable and carry it as a clutch bag for an evening. That's my outfit of the day and I'm so happy and excited to do it. I'm almost... I feel like I'm gonna burst, I'm so so happy and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute but before that I want to order some food and I want to try out the, the food app together with you guys um, and I have some packages to show you oh my god but I'm so excited about something that I'm gonna tell you in a second so guys let's order some food together please excuse my hair as I said, I didn't have time to do anything to it today besides washing and blow drying, so it's just, it's bothering me. I don't have any product in it, no oil, nothing, so it's, yeah, basically a bad hair day. But my mom touched up my roots today, so it looks really fresh and shiny. Um, yeah, so talking about Walt. It's a um, food delivery service, which is finally now in Klaipeda as well. Um, I've heard about it, but I've learned more about it when they approached me for possibly working together. So we talked about that, but um, I'm still waiting on some emails from them for uh, our collaboration. And I want to check it out before we start working together because I'm impatient like that and I want some food. I'm hungry today, so... I'm just gonna do it, you know, free promotion for them. So Walt, yeah, I've um, downloaded the, the app, you click on it and it says Klaipeda here. They have it in Vilnius, Kaunas, I believe, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, quite a few cities. So you click on here, see all, to see all of the restaurants that you can order food from. So they have Sushi Express, which is a very nice sushi place, Sinner Burgers, Fox's Cheese and Lobster, I haven't heard of before, and I'm curious to try it. But it says 55 minutes? Is that how long I'll have to wait for food? That's quite long. Sushi Room, Piccolini Restaurant, Baltos Lextis, which is one of my favorite restaurants, Manami, which is Asian, Apollo. Um, okay, so I really wanna try Fox's cheese and lobster. You choose the restaurant you want and you have a menu, you click on or you see the prices and you click on order, you um, connect it with your bank card. You can also collect tokens. So um, you have your own referral code minus Chanelette. And if three people join you, um, Walt using your code, then you get uh, free delivery, which is super cool because delivery costs one euro fifty, which is not a lot, but still. It's nice to get it for free. So I decided that I will wait one hour because I really want to try their food from Fox's Cheese and Lobster. I'm gonna take their grill shrimp salad, which has salad leaves, shrimp, cucumber, wakame seaweed, bell peppers, and orange dressing. It sounds really good. Um, and I'm gonna take fries, but do I want french fries or sweet fried potatoes? I think I'm just gonna try their plain french fries. So that will be 7 euro 50. Here's your total price. You see here, you click on it. And then 
you can choose if you want to eat at the table, pick it up yourself or Walt delivery. I'm gonna click delivery. Oh, it's nice. It finds your address automatically. You don't even need to enter it. Um, done. Scroll down to order. Okay, so total is gonna be 950 with delivery. Salad and fries. Slide to confirm. Sending order. It's so easy to use. I really like this app. As I said, I'm not paid or asked to talk about it. I just wanted to try it myself. It's just very, very user friendly, super easy to navigate and use. It says how many minutes remaining? Okay, so he is coming and I'm excited for my food. But as you can see here, I'm just gonna leave it here. I have a few things to show you guys. First of all, I'm gonna show you what hair care I got today. And actually I'm gonna use it because as I said, I didn't do anything to my hair today. So I needed a new hair oil because I finished my Gizu oil, my Aura Fluido oil. I have no hair oil. I do have one from Kerastase that I'm not mad about. It's it's a serum, not an oil, actually. So I needed an oil. This is one of my all-time favorite ones. So, you know, it's tried and tested and I know I love it. So I went back to it. It's Elixir Ultime. I love Gizu, but it's just so pricey with uh, delivery. It ends up being, you know, a cosmic price. And yeah, this is... Kerastase Elixir theme comes in a glass bottle, so not very good for traveling at all, but it just smells like heaven. Oh my god, this scent. And I love how it doesn't weigh down my hair and it just adds a lot of shine to your hair. It does contain silicone, so be aware of that. It's not a natural oil by any means probably use too much. I need a tiny amount for my hair because my hair is super fine. I don't need um, a lot of oil. But yeah, you can see it instantly tamed my hair, tamed the frizz and added a lot of shine. Then I wanted a product that would give that messy, carefree, um, kind of beachy almost hair look. So kind of like texturizing spray. I really like Kevin Murphy as a brand. I haven't tried too much from them, but I don't know, it just appeals to me. I have their do-over spray, which is great for adding volume at the at your roots. I actually featured it in my favorites, but I had my eye on this product and the girl actually recommended it to me. It's Kevin Murphy Bedroom Hair, love the name, and it's exactly what I wanted, that kind of bedroom hair look. It's flexible texturizing spray. It was 25 euros. But they have a little discount for Kevin Murphy at the moment, so I paid like 21. Okay. Let's see. Well, I need to have some curls in my hair because it's, yeah. Um, it's not gonna do much on my hair like this. But if you have just freshly washed hair when it's super soft and slippery and you need that texture, I think this is great how gorgeous is this bottle as well this blue it has a bit of grip and texture now which is nice i think i'm gonna enjoy using this product so these are my two new hair products and i'm pretty sure they will be you know long-term favorites well the oil already is then i want to show you a gift i received from sorpresa which is actually this uh, coffee brand I told you guys in my previous vlog. They sent me a gift from Max Benjamin, which is a beautiful uh, kind of um, candle home diffuser brand. I have, uh, where's the candle? It's somewhere here in my studio. I have their cardamom and coffee candle, but they sent me their new um, diffuser. It's called Elysium. 
So it's from the new collection, Impressions of Love. Sorry guys, my camera cut off as I was recording. Um, but I got the diffuser out already and it smells incredible. It smells like summer and the beach. So it has that suntan lotion or beach oil scent. Very, very summery, beachy and just a gorgeous scent. I actually have a perfume from Institute Estoderm which smells almost identical. So it's very much my type of scent and do check it out. As I said guys, sorry my camera stopped recording because my memory card was full but in the yellow box that I was sent it was actually this uh, sleeping set and I completely forgot about it. So it's a Lithuanian brand um, run by two girls, Lorita and Veronica, and it's called Laroni. They actually asked me to choose the color that I wanted for this cami and short set. So here's their Instagram, I'm gonna link it down below. And you can see they have different colors, this really pretty minty set as well. And I obviously chose this powder pink. So thank you so much girls, it's absolutely stunning and so perfect for summer. Love, love, love it. So I went downstairs to pick up my food and oh my god, my studio already smells incredible due to this. Wow, it's such an incredible scent. So yeah, let's check. It says Fox's team hopes you enjoyed the meal. So here should be, I don't know, my salad or my french fries. Yeah, my french fries. Let's try. The fries are not good. They're sprinkled in parmesan, which is nice but they're too oily, they're not crispy. I like my fries to be crispy, so not a big fan of that. What? That's so cool, I got six euros as a present. What the heck? I'm already loving their service. I told you they wanted to work with me, so I'm gonna say yes. Yes, please. I cannot say no to food partnerships, right? Why would you? Smells incredible. So that's my salad. Again, sprinkled with parmesan. I don't know if the leaves look that fresh, but the smell is super good. How do I eat this? Is there a fork? <gasps> no, I think they forgot to give me a fork. I have some teaspoons here, so I'm gonna eat my salad with a teaspoon. That's gonna be a first. The app actually asks you to rate the food afterwards. So let's see. The grilled shrimp. I love seaweed. Seaweed is amazing and it's really good for your health and for your skin. I'm gonna enjoy it off camera and then I'm gonna finish showing you guys what I got in Sardinia. Hey again, I'm back. <laughs> I'm fed and happy so I can show you the rest of the stuff I got in Sardinia. The food was good. It wasn't amazing, it was just good. The salad could be fresher and juicier and the fries were not that good so I rated it as good not you know great um okay so Linda was so excited to go to Kika she you know she's a teenager she's all about makeup now and I obviously went with her we found Kika at an airport and I purchased four things they actually had an offer for some of their collections. I think the offer was if you get four items, you don't pay for the cheapest item or something. I got two things and Linda got two things from these collections. This collection is called Gold Waves. Might be their summer collection by the looks of it. The packaging is so stunning, right? And Kiko is quite affordable. So I got this brush set which I don't need any more brushes to be honest but I kind of downsized on the amount of brushes that I use now I only use Beauty Blender one brush for eyeshadow and one brush for blusher so I don't really use that many brushes anymore and especially for traveling I you know I try my best not to take too many of them but these are amazing first of all they're really pretty gold brushes but they're two-sided so we have a flat, a dense flat brush, which is great for cream shadows, which I love to use. And then a super fluffy, super soft blending brush. 
and then this tiny brush which is great for um, eyeshadow on your lower lash line which again I love doing so that's perfect and then an eyebrow brush uh, which is gonna be great for my Bobbi Brown cream eyebrow gel so I thought these two and then one extra brush is just exactly what I need for travel it's just really handy you get four brushes in two then from the same collection they had these cream shadows or liquid shadows they're called metallic eyeshadow they had them in four different colors so Linda and I got the same ones in number two again really like the packaging and this is such a gorgeous um, rosy shade look at it it's like a rose gold color and the texture is amazing they don't crease it was 30 degrees super hot and the eyeshadow stayed on perfectly and it's so summery it just looks incredible with a lot of bronzer on your face glowy skin highlighter and this on your eyes it looks like sunset eyes and it blends out really easily and it just stays put it doesn't crease all day and then from just their regular collection their skincare line these were next to skincare products i got these two so this is hydra pro glow um it's sublime light effect moisturizing cream spf 10 with hyaluronic acid and active glow for all skin types i tried it on my hand and i was like oh, i need this product so the packaging again is really pretty it is a moisturizer that comes with a pump and it's basically this golden glowy luminous cream look at this look at that it just makes you your face luminous so when we were walking in Bergamo I even applied it on my hands and my legs and my collarbone and it just made my skin so glowy healthy and luminous looking I don't know it's probably not great skincare but if you want that luminosity or you can even mix it in with your foundation or BB cream <clears throat> amazing I'm in love with it and then I got this lip volume plumping effect lip cream in number one tutu rose and yeah this is just a volumizing lip gloss this lip gloss let me tell you guys it looks amazing it's not just your simple basic clear lip gloss it actually makes your lips look visually plumper i really like the applicator let me put it on um i compared it with simple clear glosses and there's a huge difference actually this looks much much better i don't know what it is but it just makes your lips visually look really full and juicy and plump it has a little bit of mintiness to it Actually, when it wears off, it leaves that minty, tingly feeling um, on your lips. Yeah, it is minty, but it's not super strong, so it's not very irritating on your lips. But look at my lips now. They have that mirror shine to them. I just think it looks really beautiful and fresh. Oh my god, look. It's the exact color of my nails. So yeah, I do highly recommend this lip volume plumping gloss from Kiko. And I think I will be sad when this runs out. And they have a Victoria's Secret in Bergamo Airport, so of course I had to go in. So they had an offer, you get five bottoms for 35 euros, which is such a great deal. So I'm gonna show you because the majority of my audience is girls. And I mean, girls care about underwear. So if you are a guy watching this, you can exit the video now. So I got these coral ones so beautiful love the color very summery then i got these they're made of this insanely soft fabric that feels like nothing against your skin i have quite a few in this fabric from victoria's secret like from my last haul just feels like silk or like nothing so these ones i love this model i think these are brazilians very sexy cheeky so yeah this is a cheeky model then i got these bubblegum pink cotton ones that have mesh um and polka dots around the corners and they're super soft as well then i got some simple um you know just kind of sport um bottles 
let's say Victoria's Secret, I love this shade of blue. Cheeky Balm as well. And then I got these ones again, made of that insanely soft material in taupe color and some action going on the back. Really like those. So yeah, this is my Victoria's Secret haul. And then the only shopping we did in Cagliari. We didn't really go to shopping centers. We were all tired and uh, we saw this outlet. So we stopped by. The outlet wasn't good at all. I believe it's just called Sardinia Outlet or something. It was so, so bad. But they had this shop which was Calcedonia, Intimissime and Tiznes. Uh, outlet not a great selection at all, but they had a lot of nice panties and I love Intimissimi I really hope they would have all the silk stuff like silk night dresses from Intimissimi, but they didn't so I only got Intimissimi Panties 3 euro 50 for each and they're all so beautiful. Look at this extremely soft cheeky um, bum as well so I got these ones, I got these silky ones, these ones are quite sexy, um, so beautiful. Sorry if this is a little saucy and, you know, inappropriate for YouTube, I don't think it should be. I was very kind of self-conscious showing underwear on camera before, but now I think it's just underwear. All of us girls wear it and I personally love underwear, like I have a weakness and I have a massive drawer filled with underwear and I got these red ones these strappy ones they look amazing on super sexy and these are strings and yeah they're all from Intimiss Me and now a little bit about the trip itself so I went um, myself, my parents, Linda, my auntie and my grandmother so quite a big crew, the exact same crew that um, went to Sicily last year and we had a really good time so uh, we rented a car and we drove to Otiolo which is very close to Olbia 30-40 kilometers away from Olbia and Otiolo is a port and they have an incredible beach there uh, and it's soft white sand beach which is you know amazing in comparison to Sicily in Sicily you have only you know stony pebble beaches and in Sardinia you have white sand beaches which is my personal favorite. Yeah, Otol is quite a calm town. I think it's not um, summer season yet. The beach was quite empty which was really nice. Um, the temperature was great. Some days it was raining so that wasn't that nice and a few nights were stormy but during the day it was 25 degrees and up which is a perfect temperature so yeah we would just wake up have breakfast we stayed in these little houses um, that had a kitchen we would wake up have our breakfast go to the beach sunbathe chill read books swim in the sea and uh, come back have a nap and then maybe go out for lunch because we had a car we actually drove around to other cities one day we had a boat tour, we went to um, La Madalena Island which had insane blue beaches, like in blue lagoons. The water was so, so gorgeous. So I do highly recommend visiting La Madalena. <clears throat> and uh, one of you guys actually told me about this pink sand beach island which I'm so upset we didn't go to because I didn't even know it existed in Sardinia. So yeah, overall I think Sardinia is great for a beach holiday. Uh, it's great if you have little kids because there were loads of families just chilling on the beach with kids. The sea is not deep at all, you can go quite far until it gets deeper. People are really lovely, they're just so happy, that's what I've noticed. They just readied positivity and happiness. Our last day was in Cagliari and I didn't like Cagliari at all. Sorry for those who live in Cagliari, but mm, just my personal opinion, it didn't leave a good impression on me at all. I did not enjoy Cagliari and would not recommend visiting it. There are much nicer places in Sardinia to visit than Cagliari. So we went to Cagliari airport super early in the morning. I think it was half past four or five in the morning. We went through security check and then 
We saw that our flight was delayed five hours and we had a connecting flight so we were supposed to fly to Milano Bergamo um, and then from there back to Vilnius. So because it was delayed we technically missed our flight from Bergamo to Vilnius. We were super stressed out, upset and just yeah frustrated. We went to Ryanair office because it was a Ryanair flight. We had to wait two hours in line because there were loads of people who had the same problem, delayed flight. Two hours in line to talk to Ryanair representative just to, you know, be offered nothing. She said, well, there is another Ryanair flight in two days that you can take and fly back home. Otherwise, there are not many options. You can choose other airlines and fly home tomorrow. And she said, we would only compensate one flight that you miss, not the other flight. And if you buy from other airlines, obviously you will want to compensate that. So basically it was a lot of stress. We were all on the phones looking for a possible flight. Um, we found a flight with Vizier the next day from Malpensa, Milan Malpensa airport, so not from Bergamo. So we ended up flying to Bergamo and then um, we were like, okay, what we're gonna do? And we found another flight the next evening with Vizier. We were looking for hotels. We honestly spent hours looking for flights and hotels and, you know, sorting out this frustrating situation. And in Bergamo we booked a hotel, we all went there, it was so hot, around 30 degrees. With all of our luggages and bags we had to, you know, take a bus from the airport, then we missed one stop. We had to walk almost two kilometers from the bus station to the hotel. We were all tired and angry and hot. Um, and obviously my grandmother is over 70 years old, so that wasn't fun for her at all. I felt really bad for her. We checked into our hotel, we refreshed really quickly, felt reborn again, you know, after a night shower. Then we kind of tried to relax because we knew we will stay another day, actually evening and the next full day in Bergamo. So we went out um, to Chita Alta. On, like on the hill. My aunt has been to Bergamo a couple of times and she said the city is absolutely gorgeous so she was she was kind of happy that we'll get to see it and I do agree it's an absolutely stunning city. It kind of reminded me of Florence a little bit. Um, to me it was such a contrast after Cagliari it was just yeah Bergamo is stunning. I highly recommend visiting it just for a weekend away. It's such a romantic, cozy, beautiful city. Um, so yeah, we just had a nice dinner, gelato. We just walked around and we came back to our hotel and we went to sleep quite early. So the next day we woke up, checked out of our hotel, left the luggages and we, you know, we were visiting the city again until the afternoon. So from the hotel we had to figure out a way how to get to the train station. We eventually got to the train station. Uh, some of us went to buy tickets, some of us were, um, you know, standing waiting. And we ended up missing our train which added to even more travel stress because we had to wait an hour for the next train. That ended up leaving not enough time to be on time for our plane. So we were all freaking out we uh, eventually got on, onto our train but then we realized that we will have only five minutes to change our train from Milano Centrale station to hop onto another train to go to Malpensa airport. Five minutes. So we were googling trying to find which uh, platform we stop at and which platform the next train leaves from. We got off the train and we, as I said, we had five minutes. So we had to run to platform number one to be on time for, you know, our train to Malpensa. And I, mind you, my grandmother who's over 70 had to run with all of us to another platform. Luckily, we managed to get on our train on time. I sat down, my hands were shaking and our train moved in like two minutes. And again, at an airport in Malpensa, we had to run to our gates. Um, we made it on time through security check. There were loads of people queuing and we were at our gate half an hour before we had to board the plane. So 
the end of our trip was super stressful to all of us and financially it cost a lot of money because it added up being i don't know i think a thousand or over a thousand euros extra of um you know everything plane tickets hotel trains transfers everything added up it's actually the first time i experienced something like this with the Ryanair so i cannot say that it happens often i've been traveling a lot and it's the first time i'm gonna try and contact Ryanair and see what they can do um quite a few of you guys who are super helpful on insta stories uh, telling me what websites i should go to and complain about this and uh, hopefully get a refund for all of our unnecessary spendings so yeah that's our trip to sardinia it was amazing until the the very end of it after every trip only good memories remain you forget the the struggles the stress or whatever negative things that happened overall it was fantastic and i enjoyed spending the time with my family there so much i'm gonna leave you guys now i have to do some work as i said fashion week related stuff and I have to edit the vlog from Sardinia, so I have to work on that. My coffee is over. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you very soon. Bye!